Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error you might be getting on your machine. Boot manager image is corrupt. The system cannot boot. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so you'll get this error every single time you turn on your machine and you will not be able to boot to the Windows 10 desktop. So to fix this, it's actually very easy when you know how. So if you just put your Windows 10 install media into your machine and then reboot your machine. So you get this, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Uh, simply press any key and it will then boot to your Windows 10 media. Okay, first screen, just make sure that your language and region is correctly set and click next. Do not click on install now, click on repair your computer. So click on troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt. And then in this command prompt type in chkdsk space c colon space forward slash f and then hit enter what that's going to do is it's going to do um, a check disk it's going to basically going to do a scan of your windows operating system files uh, it's going to search for any corrupted files if it finds them it's going to fix them so we can see here we've got back to the command prompt so if you just type in exit and then if you do turn off your pc uh, remove your Windows 10 media, try and boot to your desktop again. Uh, that will probably fix like 9 out of 10 issues that, that um, check disk that I've just shown you. If you are still getting problems, uh, you won't be able to get to your desktop again. Um, come back in here and go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options and then Start Up Repair. Um, so what that's going to do is it's basically going to go through all of the Windows 10 startup files. It's going to replace them. So if there are any missing or corrupted files, um, it will definitely fix the problem then. Um, so try that first um, thing that I showed you via the command prompt, the check disk. Because if you do that, it doesn't change any anything on your machine at all. It only fixes problems that it finds. Uh, the startup repair it won't do any damage but it will basically replace the files and uh, that shouldn't cause any problems as well but i always prefer to do the command prompt first okay if you've got any questions on this process please uh, post it in the comment below and i'll help you out but thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video